A pump would be nice, but remember, there's no financial advice. Crypto Badgers. Thanks for joining the Crypto Badgers to the gens that like to do our research. I'm Max Power, joined as always by Matt, aka by Z Dips. Uh, very warm, warm welcome to all of our subs out there. Uh, a big week uh, in the world of ARC, and here we are once again to uh, spoon feed that alpha from the daily podcast. And lots to get through this week, Matt. Uh, it felt felt good seeing uh, some of these utilities released into the wild this week. Yeah, it certainly did, Max. Uh, obviously, we'll go into a, a little bit more detail about that uh, a little bit later in the episode. But uh, how have you been, my friend? Still over there in uh, sunny Africa? Yeah, been on safari uh, this week over in Africa, uh, searching uh, for the big five in terms of the animals. And I think think basically covered them off. So uh, a good week here uh, in Africa. Still, still a couple more weeks on the road. Um, and just on that, actually, there may be some difficulty next week for the Badgers actually to uh, to bring this uh, weekly alpha to you. Uh, the travel schedule uh, making it very tough for us, but we're, it's good to be here today uh, on our regular programming this week. And uh, we're going to start as we always do uh, this week, and that is with the stats. And uh, look, on it's been a very positive week for ARC, probably not so positive on the price front because it's down to uh, 55 cents from a dollar and uh, the reserves are down from 205k to 142k. Uh, new accounts, we've had uh, 22 new accounts for the week. And uh, the liquidity is also down. That is probably largely driven because the ARC token price is also lower. That's down at 50, uh, sorry, the 145,000. That was 198k last week. Matt, I mean, there's not much we can do. I mean, there's, there's lots coming out, which is positive. I mean, you can't do much about it when the, the buyers aren't coming in compared to the sales, really. Um, not much not much more can be said about it. No, no, no. Indeed, Max. Uh, at the end of the day, the ILC has got to protect itself and uh, simply not enough buyers versus sells. So uh, obviously the price has been allowed to uh, to slide lower, but I think uh, a lot of positive stuff uh, that's actually come out of the week we'll, we'll get into. Yeah, yeah. I think... Um... It always feels good knowing that the team are releasing and working hard and that, you know, I always have said for a long time that, you know, price can be, will be what it's going to be. Um, if you're involved in a community where the, the team are working diligently to uh, do things that haven't been done before in the space, um, you know, really that's all you can ask for um, at the end of the day. Well so, said, sir. Um, what about these uh, weekly Spark Awards? What uh, What happened there? Another big week, Maxi, uh, in total uh, 5,044.63 ARC, given away uh, for the week. Of course, uh, additional 10% was also given away to the syndicate leaders who generated the highest daily referral values. So, yep, another big week for those Spark rewards. Um, now, I've heard a rumour, Maxi, that uh, there might have been a few legacy NFTs go out the door this week. There's been a lot of legacy NFTs go out the door. Uh, yeah, we were... Uh, last week, sitting at 546, we've had 41 NFTs go out the door. That's huge. Um, and I'm just looking through here. That is all driven on the silver front. So almost up to the 500 silvers there. And I think because there's some additional utility now as well for these NFTs in terms of referrals for some of these new products um, that we can speak about. But certainly great to see those legacy NFTs uh, continuing to go out the door, and I'm sure the legacy savings account is um, is playing its role in that. Uh, in terms of the one uh, percent wallets, let's take a look here. We have dipped under the fifty percent on the uh, on the two percent. So that was at fifty point four percent. That for the first time I can ever remember is under fifty percent. And I guess we may well very shortly have most people earning one uh, percent. So again, that is going to be less less strain uh, on the system. And uh, in terms of, we have had a few more go down to the uh, 0.5% there, up to 164 there now. So a few people still dragging out too much and permanently going down to that 0.5% mark. So the that, crypto abyss, my friend, the crypto that is abyss. The crypto abyss, indeed. Um, <laughs> that is the stats for the week but uh matt i think it's time to start getting into this news and uh really Ark, she's she's starting to look a lot like a crypto bank well that's the that's the long-term vision isn't it it's uh starting to look that way for sure uh 
So we've had the uh, the Fiat on ramp and the Air Card uh, being launched yesterday. A uh, small sample of volunteers from the Secret DAO initially put up their hand to assist with testing and and offer some feedback and suggestions, which were sort of put in place. Um, and very quickly, and subsequent to that, uh, both of these products are now officially live for the rest of the world to access. So it's really really exciting times, Max, because we're going to start to see, you know, what I would term as true external revenue coming into the Arc ecosystem and importantly it's it's coming from you know genuine sources not from sort of ponzonomic or, or gambling type sources so i think that's a point point worth sort of noting but uh and it's really not you know something that we've ever seen in the roi dap space you know this team is is really sort of taking things uh in my eyes to to a whole new new level and i know there's been a few doubters out there in recent months but i think we we have to agree here that uh the team's really delivered in a in a very big way here um uh, with the Fiat on-ramp, um, I must admit I haven't used this product just yet, but I have uh, spoken to people that have. Um, obviously, you can buy a you know, your wide range of sort of cryptos with your debit or credit card. We've mentioned before that sort of competitor products, which I've used from time to time, um, they're, they're really, really clunky and I guess you'd say sort of complex and, and time-consuming to use. It, it really, they, they really sort of offer a, a pretty poor user experience but uh, what the team sort of built here is, is is very very slick fast very easy to use it's also uh, from what i understand is one of the the cheapest feed on ramps of its kind in the market so i think users are going to pay around five percent uh five percent fee that includes a network fee so so really not too bad at all uh just one thing i wanted to mention about the feed on ramp um is is for people to sort of understand that you know these on ramps they're not they're not sort of infallible um you know some some users actually most users will probably have absolutely no trouble at all using uh, this on ramp but uh, others may have issues you know due to the um, the nature of their bank card issuer uh, or whether they're using a vpn or or something like that um, but I know the team are working on uh, some additional options for users. So if people are having trouble first time around, uh, there's going to be some other options in place for them to try. So it won't be just, uh, hey, it didn't work for you. See you later. There's going to be some other other options. Uh, and of course, Max, um, the air card, very exciting stuff. I, I think it's uh, it really is sort of a game changer. Um, and, and as with the, the Fiat on-ramp, um, th this product is an extremely easy to use product with a with a really exceptional user interface uh, users can uh, load up a card within a i guess a minute or two i think i think that's all it took me i i um loaded up a card yesterday uh and it worked absolutely flawlessly um i, I used it at multiple outlets uh throughout the day and uh, max there was no ramen for me last night it was uh it was a steak dinner very nice indeed now, a reminder, uh, these non-reloadable cards have a $1,000 max limit in place, a six-month expiry, and they do not require any KYC. And they're available to absolutely everyone and anyone and can be used globally. Uh, when obtaining your card, you can either use your you know, sort of real uh, address or real phone number, or you can choose to use ARCS details for, uh, for greater anonymity. Uh, you can load up the cards with a heap of different cryptocurrencies, Max. So I, I actually used BUSD, but one thing I did see on there is that you can even load your card up with tokens such as Drip and Elephant Money. Now, I know a lot of our viewers are involved with these protocols, so it really is a great way to sell those tokens and get yourself a real-world global debit card with absolutely no KYC. So uh, do take advantage of that. In terms of the usage fees and referral opportunities, I just want to briefly sort of run through the details pertaining to this. Um, firstly, you know, there will be a referral program or there is a referral program uh, that's available. Uh, you can refer others to the Air Card program and earn a $5 commission, which is instantly payable to you in USDT. Uh, each and every time a user obtains a new card. And to just to be clear on this, the referral link is permanent. So as long as the user that you're referring continues to use the same wallet to buy more cards, commissions are just going to keep rolling in, Max. So I can really see this being potentially very, very popular for uh, influencers in the broader space. I mean, it's a pretty easy one for the big boys out there to make, you know, sort of ongoing passive income while, Promoting a product that they can say hand on heart is is to the benefit of the you know entire crypto community. So it's going to be really interesting to see who picks this up uh, in the influencer space. We might have but, to leave uh, a referral. Just we might have to leave a referral, Mac. We should leave a referral. <laughs> uh, I was being remiss. 
<laughs> but uh, we'll talk about the fee structure just briefly because the legacy NFTs do come into uh, to play here. Um, so if you if you do hold a legacy NFT, the card issuance cost is ten dollars, and there's a four percent load fee. If you don't have a legacy NFT, the card issuance cost is fifteen dollars, plus a four point five percent load fee. That's if you don't have a referrer. But if you do have a referrer, that fee is reduced to four percent. Uh, there's also talk of bill pay integration as well, Max. Uh, I'm not sure if you picked up on that during the week, but that would be absolutely uh, huge if that was integrated in the future. I know things like Spritz out there at the moment is, is, is sort of doing really, really well. So there's obviously demand for, for people to, uh, to use bill pay. Um, but uh, just in terms of um, the promotion of these, I mean, obviously it's going to be quite organic. I mean, I'm telling a lot of people about it. I know that, and I know you will as well, and others will as well. But uh, the team's sort of getting on the front foot uh, and embarking on a an AMA tour in the coming weeks uh, to promote these new services. And I think the guys uh, might have actually already been on DGN protocol today. So I, I really don't think it's going to take too long for the word to get out about uh, these products. It, it really does sort of have that sort of viral sort of uh, potential, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, just a massive congrats to the team, really. I mean, to launch these products. Um, you know, I think we know they've been working super hard in the background to get these to market. It's not easy to do this. Otherwise, it, it'd it be everywhere, wouldn't it? Um, exactly. So, you know, I think they've looked from what all the early reports are around the, the performance of the product, how it looks on this website. Um, I think, you know, once again, you know, the team's really smashed it out of the park um in terms of getting this this product live and i think compared to what we've seen delivered by other roi dapps matt um you know it's uh, or not delivered perhaps in many cases <laughs> you know really uh, the our team has shown that they've got a very high level of developer competency and, and project vision and you know i guess um as they've really done the whole way um well, yes the price has gone down but i mean the way that they've operated and you know, the, the products they've been able to roll out. And it's, it's great just seeing that sort of uh, non-Ponzi, non-gambling revenue streams, the, you know, the slickness of everything here. I mean, it is um, a, a cut above um, what we've seen in the space. And and really, the, the, these products, they're, they're very scalable, aren't they? I mean, I, I mean, I can see loads of people. I mean, this is a massive problem for people in crypto. Yeah, it is. And, it is. you know, it if is. this works and is able to continue for a, a, a period of time, um, then and the, the relationships that obviously ARK have been able to develop with their, their banking partners to, to do this, um, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, can, you know, can we get into the tens, hundreds of thousands of these cards? Um, Why not? Why not? Know, the is, demand is there for it. Which is going to, which is going to end up obviously helping out, you know, the ILC and all, and all that sort of stuff. Um, for those of us playing uh, the ARK ROI game, um, and uh, also you can see on the screen here, they've got the earn button here. So anyone coming in, if we get into those tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, um, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, how many people start exploring the rest of this ecosystem, you know, the Vault Foundation, Legacy NFTs. So that's something um, certainly for us to monitor, I would think, um, over the, over the uh, coming weeks and months. Um, anything else on the uh, cards? Matt, to report? Uh, yeah, just a little bit of alpha from Brett that uh, he dropped during the week regarding the Terra cards. Um, obviously, there'll be the, the physical debit cards, uh, which I understand will be also launched very soon. Um, the details are sort of not etched in stone yet, but he did allude that there's um, likely to be three different cards available, that being a plastic card, a black metal card, and possibly even an exclusive gold metal card for legacy NFT holders. So that, uh, that legacy NFT narrative, Max, it keeps coming through loud and strong, doesn't it? It's, yeah. uh, it's the place to be. Yep. Uh, and it's still paying. It's still paying. Oh, it is. Yeah. I think I think, uh, I think this week uh, it was reported that it's now, now provided uh, over a 50% return since launch. So, you know, considering we're in a bear market for for crying out loud, it's, uh, it's, it's an incredible return. And you've got all this other upside, of course, now that these utilities are starting to get rolled out. So you'd have to think that those earnings are only going to go up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, news for the week. Uh, it'll all, of course, be in the Catalyst uh, Medium article, summarising all the news and stats uh, from the week. And it's a, a very quick and easy read. So uh, 
do make sure you're staying informed because there's always things happening here on the arc. Now, Matt, with the uh, the drop in price, we might leave off the badge wallet for today. It's a bit always a bit tough to be uh, predictive of earnings when we've got a bit of fluctuation in price. Um, so we we won't do the uh, the badge wallet for today. Um, but so on that note, I think a reminder that the daily podcast does start at four o'clock EST every single day. And uh, now's the time to get in there because uh, we've got lots of stuff happening on uh, these various products. Um, it's an exciting time, and I think you know a little bit of buzz in the community. It's been probably you know a tough tough couple of months in art, but I think for everyone to get in there and celebrate the, these achievements of having this uh, product come out there, do encourage you to get in there. And once again, well done to the team um, for the successful launch of the uh, the ramp and the air card. Um, so that's it for another week on the ArcFire Weekly, Matt. And uh, thank you for joining us. We'll see when we can do this next. And uh, apologies to everyone. It's completely my fault. You're Mr. Consistent. <laughs> I'm off traveling around the globe with uh, very little connection to home right now. So, uh, we, But we're doing our best when we can to bring this news to you. Cheers, Maxie. Coming live from the crypto world Bringing you all that you need Let's go This is the YouTube Crypto Show With two guys who are kind of in the know Crypto badges are here So you're in the clear No worry or fear Yeah, we're helping you steer Shouts to the team We can't forget Max Power and Bazi Dips Don't get wrecked A pump would be nice But remember, there's no financial advice Crypto badges